Hey guys, it's Ben here with Twig Cycles in Hagerstown, Maryland, and today we're going to be checking out a 2022 Polaris Sportsman 570 with power steering in the camo option. Uh, so let's dive in and check it right out. All right, guys, like I said, so we have a 2022 Polaris Sportsman 570 with power steering uh, in the camo package. Uh, and one of the things that I like about Polaris, one of the things they do that I think is really neat, anytime you get power steering on a unit from Polaris, you're usually not just getting power steering alone. You're usually getting some sort of little added uh, accessory, amenity, some sort of little implement here and there that you might not notice right up front. Uh, but one of the cool things what they did with this particular machine with the power steering uh, 570 is you also get they added the front brush guard and then you also get the rear rack extender now if this were just a base sportsman 570 they all come with the front rack extender but they don't all come with the rear rack extender or the front brush guard so one of the cool things again like i say with polaris i really like that you're not just paying extra for the power steering you're paying for the power steering, the front brush guard, and the added rear rack extender. So that's pretty cool. So I want to go ahead and go over a couple things here on the front end of the Sportsman. Uh, one of the things that I really like about Polaris is they try to make everything as easily uh, uh, to install as possible. So everything's very accessible, uh, plug and play for the most part. There's still some uh, electrical, you know, uh, knowledge there that, that's required for the most part. Uh, but if you plan on putting a winch on the front of this machine, obviously that goes right up front here. Um, you probably can't quite see it right from your angle, but there's actually bars down here. So one of the other neat things about this is if you plan on putting a, a plow on this, they actually don't require a mount. So there's pretty much, as far as your plow, you only have two components. You have your plow blade, and then you'll have your plow frame that actually connects right up to the front end of the machine. Uh, and if you order the Polaris plow setup, what they're intended for is, like I say, it's all plug and play. It's probably the easiest uh, plow system to actually connect and disconnect uh, whenever uh, you know whenever the snow hits so that's really cool this is a 48 inch wide machine has about 11 and a half inches of ground clearance uh, and as far as your engine obviously it's a single cylinder fuel injected 570cc motor uh, it's boasting right around 44 horsepower I'm gonna go ahead and jump up here and show you the front end or I'm sorry the front storage box on this as well and I know I'm gonna get this question a lot yes they actually did upgrade the uh, latches for the front storage. For some reason, uh, like in 2021, they went to just an, an elastic band here to kind of hold that down. Uh, so they went back to the original latches, which was really cool. So if we lift that up, okay, we can see obviously right, right up here, we have all kinds of storage. So that's very helpful. Uh, we, battery is no longer in the down under. Uh, it's nice and easily accessible right up front here if you ever need to. Uh, now, you shouldn't have to change the battery out quite often uh, because if we look up right around here, up on the dash, they actually give you an integrated battery tender, which is right into the dash. Uh, so it's built in right into the dash. So one of my, you know, I, I always recommend if you know you're not gonna be using the machine for a while, uh, for a couple of weeks, you know, it's a, usually a pretty good idea, whether you're storing it inside or outside, go ahead and put it on that battery tender. Just keep that battery fresh and healthy. I'm just saying it's kind of one of those preventative maintenance type things, you know, keep it plugged in, you know, that sort of thing. So just kind of keeps that battery fresh and healthy. And like I say, preventative maintenance, something to think about. As a circle around to the uh, left-hand side of the machine, obviously with all the decals, you can see we have Sportsman 570 EFI. One of the things I want to note, the EBS, uh, what that stands for, it stands for Engine Braking System. Uh, now, just about every CVT belt drive transmission has uh, naturally uh, a bit of an engine brake. Um, the technology Polaris has wrapped up into this machine, the EBS system in this, 
actually is one of the best on the market. So uh, you don't have to wear down your brakes quite as much. You know, if you're going downhill or if you're slowing down, all you got to do is let off the throttle and the machine kind of slows down a little bit for you. And uh, really, if you're really hammering down into it, you let off the throttle, this thing eventually is going to come to a stop on its own. I mean, literally, you can you can feel that EBS system truly kick in. Uh, so that's pretty cool. All wheel drive, on demand all wheel drive. Right up here, you know, you have your two wheel drive and then your all wheel drive. Okay. So I want to go ahead and touch on a few facts here uh, on the rear end of the Sportsman. Um, again, you know, as I had mentioned before, it's a 48 inch wide machine. Um, you have about 11 and a half inches of ground clearance, 11, 11 and a half inches of ground clearance roughly. Um, as far as your towing rating, obviously most of your 500 cc utility ATVs are right around that uh, 1300 pound towing capacity rating. Uh, Polaris, always known for raising that bar. Uh, they're actually 50 pounds for the most part on average about 50 pounds above the competition um, Most of your 500 cc's are right around 1300. This is 1350 pounds worth of towing capacity So uh, just food for thought there. Obviously if you can kind of peek back through here We uh, can set the preload on our shocks if we need to you know if you're gonna be weighing down the rear end of the machine uh, You know or carrying anything on the back rack It's a good idea to kind of stiffen up the shocks set that preload a little bit stiffer uh, on the stiffer side uh, so you can do that with the spanner wrench that the dealers are supposed to give you uh, with your toolkit from the factory. So bear that in mind. Um, they did away with the uh, storage box on the back of this machine. I'm told they're going to implement that on some of the new upcoming 2023 models. But right now that might just be word of mouth. I could be wrong on that. Uh, so just bear that in mind. But I think Polaris did a phenomenal job. Again, just to kind of summarize, 48 inch wide, uh, 11 and a half inches of ground clearance. 1,350 pound towing capacity. And again, obviously you get the shocks that you can set the preload on. So that's very helpful as well. Now, some of you I know are still doing your research. You may not have seen one of these machines in, in person. So I'm gonna give you kind of the opportunity to kind of see what it looks like actually sitting on this uh, Sportsman 570. Um, kind of give you an idea of what everything looks like. Nice, you know, comfortable plush seat. Um, your gas caps right up there front and center. Everything is at hand's reach, which I think is what Polaris was really trying to accomplish right there was, you know, make everything accessible without having to get off the machine. You know, you can, if you think about it right up here, I can reach up, unlatch my storage, you know, with both hands and, you know, get anything I need to do out of the storage bin up front. Right up here, we have our key, obviously. As I had pointed out earlier, you have your battery trickle charger right there, 12 volt accessory outlet. Over here, you have your uh, button that actually goes through your display right there. You see, you can see the middle of the display going through your tripometers, your voltmeter, engine hours, all that stuff. And this is also a reverse override. You have your kill switch right there. <clears throat> right here, you have your headlights off, low, and high beam. And it'll let you know when your high beams are on right there. Okay, over here we have two wheel drive and four wheel drive. And of course your throttle button's right there. As you know, Polaris does not have a front brake up here. They actually integrate uh, so that you have one brake lever up here. You do have also have a foot brake right down there, uh, but they actually integrate your front and rear brakes with this left lever right there, okay? And then to start it up, obviously you have your foot, either foot on the brake or uh, you squeeze the, the lever over here, fire it up. It's not overly loud, it's quiet, you know, so just keep in mind, if you guys are gonna be using this for hunting, it's not a loud uh, machine. It's not something that's gonna scare your, your animals off or anything like that, so pretty neat. Something else that I think is really uh, noteworthy uh, that they actually just started implementing this year, your power steering, you can actually go in here and you can set the sensitivity of your power steering. So that I think that's just really neat. Um, I know a lot of folks like a higher sensitive uh, higher sensitivity on the power steering if you're going to be hauling heavier loads at a slower pace. Sometimes if you're doing higher speeds, um, you know, down the trails, you might want to put it down right around low or maybe even medium, kind of set it right in, in the middle there. Uh, so that's why it's not quite as twitchy. But uh, Polaris I, I really sets the bar with the power steering. This is the most sensitive power steering I think I've ever used on an ATV. And I've, I've driven just about every ATV out there on the market. So um, really neat. So again, guys, we have a 2022 Polaris Sportsman 570 power steering in the camo option. Uh, and today is Wednesday, March 2nd. This machine is currently available. It did show up kind of by surprise. We weren't expecting this to show up, but it showed up on our radar and here it is. Uh, so right now, as of March 2nd, this machine is available. Uh, but obviously, you know, these things are not easy to come by uh, so this could very well sell by this weekend but if you want to be the person that actually takes this machine home with you give us a call my name's ben 
Our phone number is 301-739-2773. We'll be ready to answer your call and get you hooked up with the Sportsman 570. Thanks for watching.